Hi everyone, welcome back to Class Notes. Today we're going to be creating a teacher planner using an app called Canva. You can use your teacher planner digitally or you can create printables from them. With the summer holidays coming up, you might want to create a couple of pages so that you're ready for the next academic year. And shout out to Steph who requested this tutorial on Twitter. I hope that you enjoyed this video and for anyone else who is watching, feel free to drop me a message on Twitter if you have any questions or um, tutorial requests. So let's get started then. We're going to be creating a cover page and three planner pages for our planner. So let's go to create a design and then we're going to find um, A4 document. If it's not in the suggested options, feel free to just type it into the search panel there. So we're going to create it in A4 so that it's easily printable from home, but feel free to choose any dimensions that you like. The first page is a color page, so let's choose a background that we like, and there's so many options that you can choose from, or you can even upload your own background if you like. Okay, so I'll choose this one. I'm going to add some elements. Okay, I'm just gonna have a large rectangle so I can fit my title there. You can even shift it around if it doesn't really look like it's even. I'm going to change the color, which is on the top left here, and I'm going to make it black and change the transparency, which is on the top right over here. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then we're going to add some text. You can just grab a heading or there's a couple of templates that you can choose from. I'm going to go for a template because usually the font looks quite nice there. And I'm going to write Miss Nicole's and here I'm going to do 2020-2021 teacher planner. That looks quite good to me. And then lastly, I'm just going to add my Bitmoji so that I can customize it. Copy and then Control V to paste it. For me, that's my cover page done, but you can customize it how you like. Add a new page. I don't want that background anymore, so backspace to delete it. And the first thing I'm going to add is a header and a footer. And again, I'm going to use some rectangles. So I'm going to just make it over like this. That's fine. Oops, I don't want that. I want to copy this, so Control C and then Control V. And then I want to just put this at the very bottom so that we've got a header and a footer. Press shift so that you can grab two elements at the same time. You can group them if you like, but what I want to do is I want to change the color of my header and my footer. And in Google Keep, I've uh, chosen a couple of colors that I like and I've kept it there. I've got a tutorial for Google Keep if you are interested in learning how to customize it and use it for yourself. So I like this one. This is a hex color code. So I'm just going to press Control C to copy it and I'm going to paste it here so that I can get the color that I like. And that's header and footer done. Next is just some text. I'm going to add a heading and this is a month at a glance. So let's choose the month of January. Select the text. I'm going to do all uppercase, change the font and make it larger. Maybe even larger. That's nice. I like how it stands out. I feel like this is a little bit too large. You can change anything at any time, so don't be afraid to just have a play around with it. Okay, I like that. And let's change the color. What else would I like to add? Maybe a subheading just to say, okay, we we'll want to make January 2021. Let's move it up here. You can change the font if you like. I'm not too fast for this one. Okay, that's a bit. 21. Put it in the corner over here and make it white. And that's okay for now. Okay. All right, what's next? Let's grab some elements. And the first section I'm going to make is just going to be over here. I'm going to change the color of this. This 
one's fine, so I'm happy with that one. Might even make it a little bit lighter so I can go back onto the wheel and then maybe just drag it to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to grab some text and this one I'm going to do gold. Changing the font around a little bit, making it a little bit smaller and even the color of the text. Yes, that looks okay. Let me make this a little bit. Again, you can play around um, so much with this. So let's just move on and make another section. So let me just show you what I did there. I just selected all of these elements. You can group them together if you like, but I don't really mind at the moment. Control C, and then I just press Control V. So I'm duplicating that section there. And then the next one I want to have is a, oops, maybe you need to just select that single element there. To do a to-do list. Maybe you want that a little bit longer. Yeah. And for this section, I actually want to add one of those check boxes. So let's go back to elements. We'll go to shapes. And we want to go for maybe like a softer edged rectangle. It's a bit large. Okay. Remember, once you do something once, um, that's going to take you a little bit of time, but after that, you can just duplicate it how you like. So don't be fussed if you don't like it the first time. Um, we can always just play around with it, okay? And the next thing I want to do is a line. That's just fine. Too long. And how about we go for a nudish type of color or a neutral color? Okay, now I'm happy. So select both. So I want to click on one of the elements and then press shift and then let's try to get the other one. Okay, maybe I'll try the other way. Press shift and then press this. We'll group them together and then we're going to press control. Okay. Group them together, press Control C so we can copy it and then we can paste it so that we can have a couple of the same checkboxes there and that looks pretty good to me. Next thing we're going to do is grab a calendar. So uh, this is my favorite step actually. Go back to your home um, of Canva and you're going to type calendar. I've already typed it before, so I'm going to go to calendar. Choose one that you like. So I'm just going to scroll through. And although we want to do January 2021, it's fine to just go to um, 2020, which is all that Canva has at the moment. And just take a look at January 2021 in terms of what the calendar looks like. So it should just, um, you know, start on a Friday and end on a Sunday. And there are 31 days. So you can just choose one of the months that is very similar to that. And I've seen that May looks like that. So starts on a Friday, ends on a Sunday. So it doesn't matter that we're actually using like a 2020 version. The calendars usually just do repeat itself. And if it doesn't, you can just manually change these boxes and change the numbers around. It is a little bit um, tedious if you um, have to do it that way. Okay, so I just control C to copy that and then control V. Okay, I didn't do it properly. Let's try that again. Okay, click on this um, element, control C, and then control, control V to copy that in. Might take a little moment to come through, but then voila. And now it's starting to look more like a planner. Okay. And yeah, you can play around it as much as you want. Next section I'm going to do is 
maybe birthdays. Now, when I'm doing the discussion control, C control B to just change things that I'm doing. Um, So let's control C and control V to get another section and this will be my last section I think. Let's say that you want to add maybe before we finish we add some creative elements as well so let's quickly do this one events something like that. Um, there are heaps of stickers that you can use um, lots of flowers animals leaves I quite like those ones that you can choose and just copy and paste it inside Organ or organic summer scroll down okay so let's press on this one this one looks really nice and we're going to stick it over here okay you can make it larger you can you guys can't see it at the moment but I will move the page later so you'll see it and this is nice so let's put it in okay and of course your bitmoji you can do that at one as well like that section Look better okay and that looks really good okay so for that's a month at a glance we're well, ready for our next section, which is going to be a daily planner. So I want to keep the header and the footer. So I don't want to start from scratch again. So what we're going to do is go up here to copy page where we're going to be duplicating this page. So let's go to copy page. And then we should have another page, which is the same. I don't think it worked. Let's try again. Copy page. Oh, I did it too many times. That's okay because we need to use it again later as well. All right. But for now, maybe we will just get rid of it. Okay, so it did work, but it, it didn't really move our page, so we didn't see that. So we're going to do a daily one. So how about we choose Monday? Monday here. Let's focus on maybe week one okay we're going to do week one monday keep this calendar i like it so we're going to stick it here and we're actually going to put a background behind that so that the calendar sticks out so go back to elements yeah lagging a little bit but because it's loading so many things for me. I'm going to click on this gradient and we're going to just put that behind our calendar so that our calendar has a bit more of a focus. It's a bit wonky, but that's okay. I think that's the point. Yeah, you can play around with it if you like and choose another element if you don't like that one. Okay, and for the week, it really, sorry, for the day of Monday, it depends on how many periods you have. Let's say that you have five periods each day, then you will need a section for each period. So let's get rid of all of these elements, backspace to delete, and we want to create like a block for each period. I'm okay with that. Um, we can group them together so we can still oh, not those those two and select those two and group them and then control C, control V to paste. Because I'm actually going to change the um, settings here, so just control C, control V once you've selected it, and then group them. I'm not sure if I'm going to get there. Okay, we'll try our best. 
I would recommend you take a look at your own planner at the moment and see if there's anything else you want to add. For example, I've seen many planners have an ongoing notes or to-do list that you can have on the side. You can definitely add that in as well. Okay, but I'm finished for my daily planner and the next one I'm going to do is weekly. So duplicate this page and now just check that you've created a duplicate, which you have, yep. And then we can get started. So for a weekly one, let's do the week one. And if we do week one, then likely for January, this may be term two. Okay. Going to maybe get rid of, should I? No, I'm gonna keep that there. Um, I'm going to change these subheadings. So we have each day of the week. So just the first letter is fine. Okay, so Monday is just a big M, make it quite large. How about we just put it on the side over here? and we're actually gonna maybe separate into the different periods again but before that let's add a bitmoji so that we can jazz it up a little bit and i like this one copy image and control v to paste Gonna crop this one, shrink it. Cool. Okay, we're going to get some dividing sections so we can divide our blocks into, oops, that's not rotate, divide our blocks into the five periods we have each day. And we want to divide this into five sections. So let's make it white. I'm going to eyeball this one, but again, don't be fussed. Really, we can fix it if it's not perfect. Add some text, and I just want to write. Maybe not a subheading this time when we want this little one. And I want to write period one, size it even smaller, I think, and put it into these sections.
I think it's not bad actually. So we've got the weekly overview over here and it looks pretty good to me. We're pretty much finished. So from here we can download it and it's ready to print if you just want to have singular pages. So let's download. We want to download all pages and it's a PDF print, which is what is suggested. But what I'm also going to show you is if you want to use your um, planner digitally, you can actually make fillable um, sections using an, using an app called a PDF escape. So we're going to go there and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So here's the website over here, PDF escape. We, we can use a free online version. Upload our PDFs, choose file. Oops, I think I, I'm not sure if I clicked the right thing. We will see. Okay, good. So I've got the right file there. Clicked a little bit too fast there. And it will upload your file. And there is a form field over here. This is where we're going to create um, text boxes. I recommend text paragraphs um, if you're writing more than one line. Okay, so do this. I would change it a little bit larger. Okay, and for example, my goals, you can even just go down, my goals for Jan, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and once you download it, you can fill it in as well. But well, before we do that, we're actually going to just leave it blank. Oops, don't want it like that. Okay, let's do all the paragraph ones. So birthdays as well is going to be a paragraph or like a paragraph, it's not exactly a paragraph, but, and that's fine as well. But for the to-do list, I would suggest that you use um, text, yep, because it's a single line. Okay, if you type in there, okay, um, homework, right, it looks fine. Okay, and then the check boxes, you can actually do as well which is nice leave it unchecked so that it's ready to be checked cool and again you can just do that with the other pages as well i'm not going to do that you can save your progress and you can also save and download the pdf so once we have finished downloading that i'm going to open it up and show you how to fill in your planner digitally Quite happy with our creation here. You can even add stuff to the footer. Let's say that you want to write your name or your school, something like that. So it's fine. Okay, so opening up our printable planner, it's also editable. Okay, and it has sections that you can go ahead and edit. Okay, and these to do's can be ticked as well, which is really nice. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you got some ideas on how to create your own teacher planner. And if you want to see more designs, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this in the future. Until next time, see you later and have a good day. Bye.